Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the tools that I'm using when I knit doll clothes and what I recommend to get when you want to knit doll clothes. First of all, what you're going to need is knitting needle. There are a lot of different kinds of knitting needles. Uh, the ones I knit on the most is the one millimeter size needles, uh, especially I'm using the brand from KnitPro Carbons. I think these are really good knitting needles and they have them in a lot of sizes, also really small sizes. So this is really nice. Uh, I also have uh, 1.5 millimeter needles, which are these. Uh, these I also use a lot, especially for 1 16th scale. They're also really not small and also really nice. These are also Knit Pro Carbons. Uh, I do recommend getting those at least uh, 1.5 ones. Uh, I also have uh, two millimeters. I don't have them right here and right now. And I also have 2.5 millimeter in the carbons. They are also really nice. And those I use a lot. These I also started using for the one third scale as well as one sixth scale if needed. And I also have uh, uh, three millimeter needles. Uh, these are the needles I tend to go for the most uh, and they are all really nice. Uh, you can also of course get needles in other types and other brands but I really like this brand and I can really recommend it. Uh, what you'll also need uh, is uh, crochet hooks in appropriate sizes to match the needles you have often because even though I'm not crocheting with them I mean, they're really handy when you if you're dropping stitches to be able to pick up those stitches again and fix dropped stitches and all that so I really recommend getting some crochet hooks as well uh, and if you're going to be doing cables like I do a lot and it's really decorative uh, you should really get your hands on a um, cable needle like this you can also use other type of needles but this is just really nice and handy uh, also you're going to need is a, a small needle uh, one with a flat end, not a sharp end, because you use these to weave in ends and all sort of stuff like that. But it's also nice to have a few different sizes to match the knitting, your knitting. And of course one of these tools are also really nice, or oh, you can't really use the needle measurements much, much. Then it's really nice to be able to have this thing here, which you use for uh, measuring your knitting, which is really nice when you're trying to figure out what uh, how many stitches and what not you need of a yarn to make for example a sweater and then of course you're gonna need um, stitch markers in different sizes as well to match your knitting so just simple hoop rings for jewelry so you can use any kind of things which is really nice to have some stitch markers so you'll be able to see where you are in your knitting then of course uh, something I also like really having is pom-pom makers. It's for making cute little pom-poms on top of the hats. So then we, of course you need someone in appropriate sizes. And I also have some really small ones, so I haven't used these all that much yet. But it's really nice to have at hand and you can just get some cheap ones. Uh, and now comes the big part which is of course yarn. Uh, so I'm going to show some of the yarns I recommend starting with. Um, one yarn and it drops Alpaca, alpaca Silk Brushed, which is a really nice yarn to knit with. You probably want to knit this on uh, one and a half size needles or even two millimeter size needles. They do work on one millimeter but it's it's nice around the one and a half and up. And examples what I have made with this yarn is these tiny mittens right here this hat and this little jacket it works really nice it was a really soft yarn and uh, next up the one that I like a lot is this uh, Rowan fine lace uh, it has served me really well it is a really thin yarn and it is also really soft a bit more on the pricey side but I think it is worth it 
and something that I've knit with this is uh, this tiny little scarf, cable scarf right here and this cable hat, these are 1 6th scale and then this one that's 1 uh, 3rd scale with a little fair isle pattern on it and comes to cotton and one that I've tried that's worked really well is the Katya Jaipur that is really nice. the color changes are a little bit long so they you don't really see the color changes that much in this kind of small knitting but I think it will work really well for one third scale and then another one that also a bit more on the expensive side is Lana Grosso Lace Merino but you get a lot out of it it's also a really nice and soft yarn and it looks really nice uh, this one was knitted on two millimeters I believe possibly one and a half as well now we have a sweater that is knitted in it which is really soft really nice and then for smart doll um, what I've knitted with it is uh, knit picks they have a really nice range of colors that it works really great and this is knitted on a three millimeter you could probably do it in a two and a half as well though it would be a little bit stiffer what i've needed for that one is this little sweater dress tunica thing which is also really nice and it's not like hard or anything so it's really nice and also for the one third scale is uh, this one original sconce palette uh, which I find is really nice. It's acrylic yarn, but it's really soft and it knits up really nice on size uh, two and a half needles and three and it looks really good on the smart doll. I think it's really a fitting scale. And it looks, and it's really soft for being acrylic yarn and it's really cheap so it's a good yarn to start out with if you want to knit one third scale. Uh, I also uh, knitted with the uh, Drops Baby Merino for one third scale, and that one also works really well. Uh, this, uh, these are knitted on two millimeter needles. It's a little bit hard, but it works well and it looks good on the smart doll. So that's also a yarn that I can recommend to start out with. And then, of course, there are a lot of other yarns I haven't myself tried yet, but they look like they will be really good. For doll knitting because they are like the right size thinness so really just looking for yarn that's really thin thin and lace weight that's usually where i go to and also anything mohair is also usually really thin and really nice to knitting with for for dolls so this is what i got for you this time uh, i hope this video helped and i really hope you have a good time knitting and I'll see you later. Bye.